The players I draft cannot have played in the CHL, so that includes the Ontario Hockey League, the Quebec Major Junior League, and on top of that, the Western Hockey League. I feel like it's becoming increasingly more common for players to come from college, university, stuff like that, as opposed to playing in the CHL, where I feel like the CHL was the absolute hub before, but... Maybe I'm making that up. Anyway, we've done a lot of drafts. We are very far into NHL 23, and I am grasping at straws at this point. But you know what? I like this one. I think it's going to give us a unique team, unique set of players. So I'm down. And on top of that, we are going to be drafting for the New York Islanders. Actually, I wonder, when I go to check their stats in this game, is it going to show me if they played for a CHL team or not? I think it will. I really hope it does anyway. That would make it a lot easier. Also, you are not sneaking under the radar here, okay? Jabroni, I will go ahead and toggle you off. I'm gonna make it a rule and hopefully I remember that if I ever forget to turn Jabroni off, I have to leave him on the whole year, even though probably won't do anything. Especially with injuries off, will they really change the lines? Oh, but the only problem is that I'm thinking now, they might sub in players that don't suit the draft, so potentially awful idea. Anyway, we're gonna be drafting at position number seven. So we will go ahead and... I was pretty close, okay? Not bad at all. So I know that Crosby played in the QMJHL. So if I go all the way down, will it show me that? No, it does not. All right. So I guess I got to do some research myself. Should I start the team off with a defenseman? These are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. You know what? I'm going to give it another go. Victor Hedman is joining your New York Islanders. Kaner played for the London Knights. I know for sure Stamkos played in the OHL. Not too sure about these three, though. Regardless, I think I have to draft Geno just because it's two defensemen here. I mean, I, I could, okay? I could pair them with Hedman. Not, did not mean to do that. Even John Carlson played for the London Knights. This is ridiculous. All right, well, you know what? I know for sure Malkin did not play in the OHL, so he will be our first line center. I am okay with that. Gensel took the school route, 88 overall, making six milli. That is a great pickup for us. You know what? This team is shaping up to be okay so far. I feel like we'll have a pretty easy time with goaltenders. In fact, I might just take one now and get our starter. And it's as easy as that. Georgiev, 87 overall, 3.4. Very optimal. We've got both Pavelski and Pesci that never played for the CHL. So, I think I'm going to take Pesci. Pavelski should last at least one or two more rounds. Might even be longer than that, but... Yeah, I'm going to hold off for now. Pesci... Could take Pavelski next because that way we have our first line, first defensive pair, our goalie, and we are just well-rounded to start. But, actually, you know what? No, not but. Joe Pavelski, get in here. He has, sells X-Factors, right? Sure does. Absolutely. Never doubted you for a second, pal. Adam Larson is eligible. 85 overall, right-handed defenseman. Welcome to the aisle. You know what? Anders Lee worked out well for me last time, and he went to Notre Dame. Perfect. I had no idea that David Krejci played in the queue. Absolutely no clue. From Boston University, we have Matt Grizzlick, 84 overall. Our defense are going to be set. Defense wins championships. Or maybe. I guess we'll learn today. I have follow. We already have two left wingers, but one of them can play on the right side for sure. You know, he's a centerman as well. We'll make it work. Another pretty surprising one, but Riley Smith, born in Ontario, played for Miami University, but get this. It's in Ohio? I don't know. But anyway, second line right winger. Boom. Actually, you know what? I feel like I listened to a podcast recently where they were talking about that. Um, Alexander Wenberg also. 83 overall. Our cap space taking a huge hit here, but you know what? We'll just take some budgeted players later. Go all out now and then, you know, regret our decisions later. From the University of Denver, it's very hard to say no to that 1.4. At 82 overall, we have Scott Mayfield. 6'5'2". Guy is a beast. This is actually not as difficult as I thought it was going to be whatsoever. We are breezing through this thing, and I'm going to go with Connor Sheary at 1.5. Once again, incredible contract for that overall. Get him on the Islanders immediately. David Kampf. Has he always been 81 overall? I feel like I would have drafted him before at 1.5. But maybe I just never have. Anyway, he's eligible. And for the sake of trying to get some new players in these fantasy drafts, I think this is optimal. So there we go. 79 overall. You know what? I think you could be our backup though. Joseph Wall is going to be our backup. 
can confirm. So now we just need four skaters, one defenseman, and we're ready to rock and roll. Hot dog, cheeseburger, fill the thrill, whatever you want to call him. Love this guy. And he is joining our team, getting some depth goal scoring from him. I guarantee it. Two way forward, eh? All right, Frank, I'll give you a go. Lafferty Daniel. If you've ever seen Happy Gilmore, you get the reference. Gonna be our fourth line centerman. Or maybe, again, I don't know why I always say, oh, they're gonna be here. This is gonna be our fourth line center. Maybe he won't. Could be our first line center for all I know. We'll find out when we put the lines together. But he will be a part of the New York Islanders. That much I can say. Victor Hedman shoots left and then Pesci's right. Larson's right, Grizzlick's left, and then Scott Mayfield is right. So we need a left-handed defender. For the sole reason that we have the cap space, I'm picking up OEL. 7.2, oh dear. But our draft is completed. Let's have a look at the summary. You know what, honestly, we're looking pretty good. I can't lie. I think we could go the distance, I really do. But usually when I say that, doesn't end up happening. Only one way to find out. The preseason has been simulated. 4-1-L to the Washington Capitals right there. Doesn't look good. But let's see what our team chemistry... Ooh, absolutely not. Head coach, leave me alone. Best lines, what do we get? Hmm. That gets a plus three. And then I was going to put Ayafalo in the middle because he has a center. Riley Smith shoots left. And I think I wanted... But isn't he considered... Oh, he's right wing slash left wing. So there we go. I'm doing that. Boom. Looking very nice. Now, I could move Wenberg up to where David Kampf is. But if I do that, we lose the plus one. So I think I'm going to run with this third line. And our ice time allocation is normal. So all four lines are going to be going. I can't lie to you right now. I'm a little bit scared to see what our defensive chemistry looks like. Nice. That is a perfect combo. Power forward, two-way forward, sniper. And then we have Malkin, playmaker, with Gensel, a sniper. Pavelski, two-way forward. It's a thing of beauty. But is this? Yes, it is. Oh my word. What a beautiful roster. I'm not going to change anything here. We will leave it as it is. And if we go to our goaltenders, we have Georgiev. This team is good. I can't lie. So naturally, we're probably going to do really, really bad. Up to the trade deadline we go. Where we'll be at? Nobody knows. We are 1-5-1 to start the year. Um, I, I don't understand. You know what? We're not done yet, though. Usually, if you have a poor start, you can really bring it back around. So I'm going to lean on that hope, but I don't know. We're getting kind of far in now and we still suck. Okay, we're kind of bringing it back, actually. It took a little bit longer than normal, but we are evening it out quite a bit here. Two losses in a row, not a good way to keep this record up, but 9-3-L to the Vancouver Canucks. 6 nothing loss to the Oilers. Our division doesn't look great, you know. We are second in the division right now with this record, so... There is still a very good chance that we make the playoffs. That's all I'm going to say. Won't go any further than that. Saying we're going to win the division because absolutely not. However, playoff hopes, very much so alive. We are third in the Metropolitan Division at the trade deadline. A nice amount of points, which actually ties us with the jerks. New Jersey is one below us. Yeah, it's a pretty tight race, actually. Likely not going to make any trades, but we'll jump in anyway to see who's available. Go on. Who is the big name this time around? It is Hampus Lindholm. I'm kind of thinking about it for some reason. The only issue is that Pesci gives Hedman a plus two and I don't want to ruin that. Just to go up by one overall. Nope. I'm not going to do it. I'm out of here. See ya. Holtz and Yermo headed to Tampa Bay in exchange for Kadri and Lowry. Wow, that is a pretty big trade. Glad you alerted me. 5-2 win over the Red Wings. 7-1 win over the Sabres. We were cooking for a minute there. That's a... Massive win over the Capitals. Divisional team as well. We're on a bit of a run here. I think we have to make the playoffs at this point. There's no way that we could blow this. Hold that thought. There's absolutely a way we could blow this. But I don't think we're going to blow this. Boom. No, we're in. We are in. Just get one win. Literally one. That's all I... Guys, thank you. Beautiful. Carolina Hurricanes. The Jerks will be our first round opponent. It's stat time. Let's look at the team stats first, even though we just saw Malkin leading the boys. I don't think I made any predictions this time. I totally forgot to do it, but we finished third in the division with 43 wins. I feel like I would have been somewhere around there, but I wouldn't have said 43. That's just such a weird number. In the league, we're probably not top 10 with 94 points. Never mind. We are eighth. 
Okay. That is way higher up than I thought we would be. Top 16 teams did not make it, but the 18th place Boston Bruins sure did. Let's find out who is on the bottom feeder here. The Montreal Canadiens. They have Marchand, Kempe, and ADB. Insane first line. They have UC what I see in net. Provorov playing with Soderstrom, Wi-Fi, and Caden. Tanev, Batherson, and Quinn. That's a rough second line. I mean, it's not that bad, but... Probably could be better. The President's Trophy winning Pity Pens had Shane Wright on their first line playing with Natchez and Konechny. Very interesting. They had Swayman and Nett backed up by Merzlikens. Brendan Dillon on the first pair playing with Charlie Mack. Jake Sanderson. Yeah, they have a good team. Is it good enough to be a President's Trophy winning team? I don't know about that one, but they're solid. For sure. Incredible season for Victor Hedman. I'm just going to completely bypass Malkin there. Because he also got 81 points and he's a defenseman. Lit it up. Thank you. Pavelski with 78. Anders Lee 61. He simmed well again. We have Ayafala with 58. And obviously I'm not going to forget Malkin. 81 points. Let's go. We did not get goaltending. At least not out of Georgiev. He had an 893 save percentage. What are you doing? Joseph Wall went 15-5-2. With a 9-16. Alex, I would have traded you at the deadline had I saw this. Maybe it's this pair. Because I think they're together, right? Grizzlick and Larson. Potentially going to break them up. Minus 10 for Phil the Thrill. But he had 40 points on the year. 13 goals. Connor Sheary was a dash 4. But he had 33. Wenberg dash 9. So yeah, that line. Oh wait, no. Wenberg was on the 4th line, right? Vasilevsky had 43 wins. He dominated other goalies. 7 shutouts on the season as well. Carter Hart did not have... Sorry. Kata Hart did not have 1 shutout. And he played a nice amount of games. That is outrageous. 906 save percentage still. Yeah, alright. 916 down here for Jari. Carell with a 917. Your Norris winner, Victor Hedman. Not even up for debate. 81 points. 9 up on the next closest, Charlie Mack. And then we have Fox here with 70. Jimmy Superstar getting the Art Ross. I love that. No one broke 100 this year. But right there. 99. Same with Sasha Barkov. Ovi had 94. McDavid, 94. It's great to see Tage up there too. What an incredible season he had in the NHL. It was just out of nowhere, to be honest. Let's see what the jerks got for us. Will it be a sweep in either direction? I feel like no. And we have a 3-1 series lead. Great stuff. Carolina goes down in five. And now it is time to take on New Jersey, who went to seven games. So hopefully they're tired. And we can weigh that in here. No. But it is 2-2 after four. Let's go ahead, Sim. The fifth game. It's a win. Will New Jersey push a game seven? They don't. We have the... I did not mean to do that. But let's check it out. Connor Bedard. Beautiful. We also have Rod McNabb. He's a gem at second. How could that be possible? The Boston Bruins conference finals first four. No way there's going to be a sweep here, but we are up 3-1. What is this team? We're good in the regulars. I mean, we were okay in the regular season. We weren't bad, okay? So I shouldn't say that, but making it to the Stanley Cup finals did not see that coming. I was going to hesitate and only do three games, but no, I'm going to keep the confidence up. There will not be a sweep. That, I don't care. There was a sweep and I could not be more gassed. What just happened? Malkin went off. So did Gensel. So the Conn Smythe could go to either or. Clearly Georgiev had to have stepped up and also shout out to Phil the Thrill. 20 points in 21 games. What an absolute legend. Victor Hedman doing bits yet again. Almost point a game as a defender. Pavelski 19. Ayafalo. We just worked together as a team. How's our goalie looking? Amazing. Amazing. I'm so sorry I said anything. In fact, you know what? I'm not sorry because you probably heard me and that's what kicked you into gear. Markstrom got lit up. He had an 895 and he was the other goalie in the Stanley Cup final. So what an incredible bounce back from Alexander. When you get into the playoffs, the regular season does not matter at all. You could finish in the last wild card spot. You still have as good of a chance as the President's Trophy winner. And that is one of the things I love about hockey. Hedman, the defensive leader, yet again. Fox is right there with 17, but who cares, you know? We're here to talk about Victor. 
incredible. Nikolai Ehlers had 27 points, Stone had 25, Nate Mack only played 16 games and had 23. Doesn't matter though, because you didn't win the cup, now did ya? I loaded up this screen and was shocked. Had no idea what was going on. And then I realized we haven't simulated far enough yet. I was starting to think I hallucinated or something. We didn't actually win the Stanley Cup, but no, we swept in the finals. I tried to double down and say there wasn't going to be a sweep, but I meant the other way. The Los Angeles Kings, just as a whole, had a year. They made it to the Stanley Cup finals, and your Calder Cup champions are the Ontario Reign. There we go. That's more like it. Love to see that. Pity pens, and you already know all of these trophies, so I don't know why I'm showing them, but I will just in case. The Art Ross goes to Jimmy Superstar. So does the Hart. Victor Hedman with the Norris. Told ya. Spaghetti gets the Lady Bing. I don't know how he's not in contention for the Calder. Or I guess, as of when this video comes out, how he wasn't in contention for the Calder. Because I didn't really know who he was. I don't pay that much attention to Arizona, but... Uh, some people in the comments were basically saying that he went off this year. And I looked at it, I was like, wow, this guy is actually nasty. Gensel gets the Con Smythe. Olmark gets the Vesna. But Ottinger will take the Jennings. Carlo will be taking home the Masterton. Grolu? Grolo? I tried. Sydney the Kidney with the Selkie. Jimmy Superstar gets the Lindsay. And Ovi with the Rocket Richard. Uh, it's basically just his trophy. Actually, if McDavid keeps it up and decides that he wants to score goals, then might become his trophy. But here is your playoff tree. The Islanders never went to seven games. We went to five, six, six, and then a sweep. Ridiculous. Well, love that. Insane. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. 932% of you watching this are not subscribed. So thank you. Um, I'll see you soon.